completion of our work on the shed is the roof. And we're going to use a gable roof. And the pitch that we're going to use for our roof is 412. So for our um, shed, it's eight feet. Okay. So if the shed is eight, eight, eight feet and we need a 412 uh, pitch, that means that we need to um, divide eight feet by two because uh, a gable roof will slope both sides. And that means that we will have 48 inches and 48 inches has four 12s. Therefore, we need to rise four fours also. That will be a 16 inch rise. On the floor, we're going to draw a 16 uh, inch line. Now on the floor, we're going to draw 16 vertical. And then we are going to go, I don't know if we drew a 16 there, so I'm just going to delete it. Let's, let's draw it here on the red uh, axis over here. So we're going to draw a 16 line. And then we're going to draw a 48 on the red axis. There you go. And that will be our uh slope okay so this one would be a 16 and this one should be a 48 okay so to create the uh, roofing frame for our shed we are going to follow this angle or this pitch so we're going to first create a rectangle and we're going to do again a 1.5 comma 3.5 for a two by four. And we are going to raise that just by a little bit so that we can make it into a group. And once it is a group, we're going to now rotate it flat on the green, press the shift key so it'll maintain uh, the axis or the rotation angle. And we want to lay it flat on the ground. We are then going to move that corner and um, we're going to move this this top corner here on the ground like that. It's important that you block this or you make it into a group otherwise when it touches this little rectangle uh, it'll combine and we don't want them to combine. Okay. Now we're going to rotate again and we're going to rotate uh parallel to the floor so we want to rotate like this on that corner and we want to touch this far corner here so that we can rotate it and pick the uh sloped line and follow this angle so you can see now that it is now at the same angle as the triangle we drew on the floor now all we have to do is extend that Let's edit the group first. Undo. Edit the group and then push pull. Press pull from that corner. And we're going to cut this using the intersection here, going up and then going to this corner. And then we're going to remove this by press pulling it or push pulling it down like that. Okay. So we're going to cut this later, uh, but that's basically the slope of our roof. We're going to now close the group. And let's move this somewhere away. And because the roof will slope in both directions, we will have to mirror this. So we're going to select. We're going to select and then use mirror. And we are actually going to mirror uh this one exactly here at this point so all we have to do is point to this face and you should see a purple uh, plane and click on it but make sure you press control if you it creates a duplicate okay and that's basically it you just simply click select and we now have our um, roof framing that will go on top of this roof on our next video